Hi everyone, Heather Liu of Closet Core Patterns coming to talk to you about the Rose Blouse, which is our last pattern for Crew this year. Crew being our monthly pattern subscription service that we launched this year. This is the 12th pattern of this calendar year. Next year it's going to be a completely different concept. Um, and if I could just talk about Crew for one second, this was a huge project for us to undertake, you know, to go from like six patterns a year to, you know, 15 to 18, which is what we did this year. Um, and it's been so fun for us to really challenge ourselves to come up with all these fresh ideas and to sometimes have a little bit more fun with like trends and just things that are a little bit more whimsical, maybe not necessarily a design that we would do for CCP, especially if it's a little bit more simple, um, like a pattern like this is, but that still is like fun for you to sew and it's going to jumpstart your creativity. And it's just been such a wonderful year for us. And I love that we're ending with rose because i think it says a lot about what we're trying to do with crew which is beautiful garments beautiful details but like fun and easy to sew and rose could not be easier to sew we're talking a couple of hours um it's very minimal seams the details that we're going to get to are very easy to construct um very beginner level sewing and if you are needing a look like tonight like you are going somewhere and you need a dress or you need an outfit or you need a, a blouse we're talking a couple of hours from start to finish having this um, on your body, which is always super exciting for us. So Rose is kind of a boho peasant inspired blouse. It has raglan sleeves, so we're not talking about a set-in sleeve. And then it's just got this really beautiful, you can see especially here, kind of like wide neckline. So Rose has two necklines. They're the same silhouette, but you can finish them differently. Again, giving you a little bit more customization, a little bit more functionality. So the one that I'm wearing right now is, there's a center front seam. I'm sorry, I have a mic here. Hopefully it's not gonna rustle too much. And there's a slit opening and it ties up with a really pretty little fabric tie that you can kind of customize, you know, how tight you want it. You can decide how much you want it gathered on this tie. I actually just really like it wearing, wearing it open. I think it's, just, I think it looks great. So I'm wearing it open. Um, but also, like you can see on this blouse, you can just wear it closed and really have fun with how, you know, it's gathered along this tie. Alternatively, if you wanted something maybe closer fitting or maybe a little less fussy in terms of styling, you can finish the neckline with this half inch elastic. So it just sits really close to the body. It still gives you all that pretty gathering along the neckline. But guess what? You don't need to gather anything. There's no gathering stitches in this pattern. All of this effect is just, is it's we're creating a channel and we're feeding either a drawstring through it or a piece of elastic. So at no point do you need to go into those long basic stitches for gathering. So for me, that's like such a fun win because I love the way gathering looks. I don't always feel like sewing a gathering stitch. So we've got those two necklines. We've got that raglan sleeve. I'll just show you what it looks like in the back. Just like a gently rounded um, shape in the back. It's quite pretty. And... The sleeves are also gathered with a little bit of elastic. Now, if you don't have elastic, you could also do a little drawstring in here um, and have it gathered that way. And again, you don't need to do any gathering stitches. And then we have this blouse option, which I would say kind of hits at like higher hip. Um, if you wanted it lo longer, I would suggest long, uh, lengthening it because I would say like on the body, it ends at about here. And then we also decided to give you a dress. Um, and part of that was we made this sample was a very the dress i'm wearing right now was a very early iteration where we were just trying out some ideas and we weren't intending on this being anything we were going to photograph and we tried it as a dress and we loved it so much that we decided we had to offer it um as a variation and so i has how i'm wearing it right now is just very loose and comfy i'm wearing it with some over the knee boots to kind of sex it up a little bit but this would look really great over leggings or a pair of jeans or as a dress but then if you're not into a looser fitting silhouette, if you like a little bit more structure, we also included a fabric belt. And so this instantly, just a little fabric belt, instantly gives you a little bit of shaping at the waist if you don't like anything too loose. If you want to add a little bit of shape, it's that simple as adding a fabric belt. So that is Rose, our new dress and blouse from Crew this year. Of course, if you like any of the samples you see here, just like we do every month, there are exclusive fabric kits over on Core Fabrics that will let you recreate these. But if not, I suspect you probably have a beautiful viscose or silk languishing in your stash that you could turn into one of these beautiful garments in just a couple of hours. So we can't wait to see what you make with Crew. And if, of course, if you want to get your hands on this pattern, you're not yet a member. Memberships start at $10 a month. You can cancel at any time. And our unlimited memberships are a really great value because you get all 12 patterns from the last year 
plus the 12 patterns we have coming have coming to you for 2025 which i don't say so myself are like chef's kiss amazing we're really excited about next year we're really happy to end the year with rose and we can't wait to see what you make with it